Hey guys, this is Versatile, and in today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install this awesome graphics mod for a PC game, GTA 4, and it's called the Ice Enhancer mod. Ice Enhancer 2.1 Final. So you go to the more info section, I got a link to where you can go to GTAinside.com, and you download the latest final version, which is version 2.1, downloaded, and basically what it does is it just changes your game, the way it looks, the shaders, it just looks phenomenal, almost like GTA 5-like. So here's just an example screenshot. So how does this work? So you just download the file. Now what I did was I had already updated the game to 1070. Some people said they get, you know, it's sort of buggy. I don't know. For me, it was fine. If you want to, you can go ahead and downgrade your game to 1040 and use that as well. So this is how it works. So first, go ahead, go to your GTA 4 folder. Like here's your main folder here, and go to your zip file. So I'm gonna go ahead, and go to my zip file here, and inside the zip file, there's two directories. I am actually using 1070, so I'm going to go ahead and double click into that folder. And then what we have here is these main files, shaders, and optional presets. So what I did was I went into main files, and here's all this stuff here. So I just go ahead and copy and paste it into my GTA folder. So let me go ahead and do that real quick just to show you that, yeah, this does work. So copy and replace and replace all that stuff there. And then what I also did was I went into shaders, double click the shaders.zip file, and there's going to be some files inside the zip file here. So shaders, okay. If I go into my main GTA 4 folder and go to, let me sort this by name here, go into common. Here's a folder called shaders here. So I could, what I could do is just go ahead, pull the shaders over here, and then extract it and replace everything as well. Say yes. Okay, replace everything. And we're good to go. And then if you want to, I did not do this, so you could do this optional presets. And there's a how to install folder here. So go ahead and you can do that as well, depending on what you want to do. But I didn't do that, but you can definitely do that on your own. So after you do that, then all you got to do is literally just start your game. And your game will apply the graphics mod instantly. If you want to go back to the old GTA 4 style, well, you should probably back up your files before you overwrote them. And because I am a, uh, uh, a dumbass, what I actually did was I actually ended up overwriting the files without making a longer video of the non-Ice Enhancer mod. So what I ended up doing was I just took some video footage of when I did my GTA 4 gameplay video, and I have that overlapping with the new graphics. So you'll see the difference. And so with that said, let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial. All right, sweet. So we're in the game. So what I did was I had a in the bottom left hand corner of this video is a video clip of without when I was doing a GTA 4 multiplayer without the Ice Enhancer mod. And then of course the bigger video is me with the Ice Enhancer mod installed. So you can clearly see that everything is more vibrant. Uh, the graphics look considerably different. Um, not as dull as original GTA 4 textures, so that's sort of nice. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you like this type of video, like, favorite, subscribe. Otherwise, if you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.